Vandaag gaan we spelen Firefighting Simulator The Squad. Laten we beginnen. Ziet er goed uit. Tot nu toe. Dispatch to Unit 1. The fire has spread to the roof of the house as well as an adjoining room. Backdraft potential in the area oh, okay. is extreme caution. The secondary oh. unit is on site oh. providing water coverage for the roof. The evacuation status of the house is still unknown. Zijn we de eerste? Ik ben niet. Oh, 
top of the wolf. Tunnel. Ah, complete. Nice. That was totally the thing. Ah, there was the intro. Gefeliciteerd. Successful. The city map. The next mission is already available. Ah, je krijgt dus na training krijg je dus meer. Nou, daar gaan we daarheen. Goed plan. Training facility. Gaan we eindelijk trainen. Worden we een echte brandweerman. This training exercise will get you familiar with using forcible entry tools on doors okay. and walls. Walk Deuk forward open. and open the door. Altijd leuk. Uh, the next door is locked. Grab the crowbar off the bench mm -hmm. and walk towards the door. Then break it open. Yeah. Break it. Good work. Right. Now place the crowbar on the ground. You're going to. Yeah. The new girl will have to get trap in with my. Place the halogen tool on the ground in the box. Grab the demo hog off the bench, walk towards the door, and bust it open. Grab the axe and walk towards the door. Swing at it and smash it open. Let's smash it. Yeah. Oh, miss. Miss. Oh. When there's no available door, create your own. You can break through the walls using here. any forcible entry tool. Look for the cracks no, in the wall and break through it with your axe. Miss. That was lastig. Dan is het goed te Good work. Now place the axe on the ground in the glowing box. Dealing with windows. En dan hebben we waarschijnlijk niet over windows team. Familiarize you with using forcible entry tools on windows to enter and exit rooms and buildings. Now, grab either tool on the bench, walk over to the window and smash it open. Okay, yeah. now climb through the window into the next area. At times, the window is too high to reach, so you'll need to climb onto something to gain access. Yeah, to do. Good, we're almost done. Smash either window and climb through to the next area. Okay. Hmm? Oh, dude. This exercise right, will familiarize you with using power saws to cut through locks to open doors and vents. Okay, pick up the circular saw from the ground. Let's do it. Good. Now use the saw to cut the lock on the vent ahead. Let's do a slide. You have to be careful, so aim for the indicated target. And open. Nice. Once more, pick up the saw from the ground. Open. No problem. Two more to open. And we're going to open. Now, walk over to the garage and use the saw to cut the lock. Job. Job done. Letter, letter. 
the lava. This training exercise will familiarize you with using Kijk, ladders. Ladder. To use a ladder, you must first attach to it. Walk over to the indicated spot and connect yourself to the ladder. Okay, now climb the ladder by pressing forward. Ladder up. Okay, now reconnect yourself to the ladder and climb back down to the ground. Moet daarvoor naar boven klimmen. We naar beneden te gaan. Nee, klaar. Good. Connect to the new ladder beside you. Okay. Oh, die gaat naar gaan. Now, climb up to the window. Good. Now climb through the window and enter the building. Nice. Now use the door to go outside and climb the ladder up to the roof. Okay, now climb back down and we'll continue. Yeah. Good job done. Job done. Fire propagation and growth. With this training exercise, we'll familiarize you with how quickly fire can spread. Okay. Stay where you are and just watch the fire spread. Notice how fast it jumps from object to object. Now grab a hole and put out the fire. Spray water by using the indicated button. Spray water by using the indicated button. Spray water by using the indicated button. Spray water by Die zit te zeuren. Job job job. All right. Once again, just watch the fire. Ja, Oké. Okay. Te hebben, maar dat ook zelf wel weer uit. Hup, water erop. Now, grab a hose and try to put out both grease fires. Grease fires. Yeah. It's funny to get the fuel. We need the water to do it. Hey, this is bomb. Makes it worse. Sure. Water is the fuel. Oh, so the fuel ball, you know. Fight grease and chemical fires. Boom. Grab an extinguisher. Yeah. I'm taking the fire. I'm taking the fire. I'm taking the fire. I'm taking the fire. Side to side on the fire. Good work. When out on calls, look for different types of flames so you can be ready for any grease or chemical fires you run into. This training exercise will familiarize you with how to effectively fight a fire using the hose aiming interface. All right, hose aiming grab a interface. fire hose and enter the door in front of you. No. 
Pak de grondslang en sta gelijk in licht te laten. Je hebt er gewoon een bloedstrand in man. Kijk allemaal. Oh wel. Ik denk dat het hier echt toch wel ietsjes anders is. Maar, het spel is leuk op. Volgende kamer. Kom, kom. Blijf het blussen. Nu krijg je de uitleg eruit. Kom op. Sinds elektriciteit is de beste manier om de vrienden te vinden is om de vrienden te vinden door het in de een elektrische vrienden te Walk over to the fuse box on the wall and turn off the electrical Okay, fire's out. Alright. Now walk into the next one. Alright, since you already know how to deal with grease fire, grab an extinguisher and put those fires out. You'll notice that both the tag hose and the CO2 extinguisher use the same interface to help you put out fires as efficiently as possible. Oké, fire's out. Job done. Job done. Nou, nog een paar oefeningen. Dan zullen we dan eindelijk echt de brandjes mogen blussen. Smoke. This exercise will get you up to speed ja, dat on heb je bij een brand. How it affects your vision and how to effectively clear it. Smoke is dangerous and can seriously harm you. Which is why you'll always be equipped with an SCBA system to ensure you can breathe in any situation. Oftewel, When going into a smoke-filled area, be sure to use your helmet-mounted flashlight. It'll... The best way to deal with smoke Don't is to eliminate. Venting a room allows the smoke to clear. Now, open the door and enter the next area. It's oh, full of smoke. Stay crouched so you have the maximum amount of... Open all windows. Okay, you know the drill. Stay low and open all the windows to clear the floor. Als je gaat staan, dan zie je dus ook echt niks. Okay, we're going to take a different approach for this room. A smashed window is just as effective as an open window. If you need to vent smoke but run into a locked window, don't let that stop you. Grab a tool off the bench and smash both windows. There's nothing. Oh, no. In this next phase, we'll take a slightly different approach. If you still have the forcible entry tool, use it to smash open one or both of the windows. If you don't have a tool, grab one off the bench. In here too. Remember to stay crouched to improve your visibility as the smoke clears from the window you just smashed. Wait and watch the smoke. Oh. Now, open the door and enter the next room. Okay, you know the drill. Stay low and open the window to clear the smoke. Open. Get 
Ist das was anderes? Ah, Backdraft. Now we're going to learn about one of the most dangerous situations you'll ever encounter. A backdraft. Backdrafts often surprise even experienced firefighters. Backdrafts occur when the oxygen within a room has been used up, and then more oxygen is rapidly reintroduced into the area. This is caused by opening a door or window in an oxygen depleted environment. When backdrafts occur, fire explodes out of the door or window and can become a fast moving fireball, causing damage to anything in its path and can even badly injure you. Okay, enough talk. Now we're going to show you a backdraft event so that you know what to look for in a potential backdraft situation. First, walk over to the window on the left and look into the room. You'll notice that the room is full of smoke, but there are no visible signs of flames. This indicates that the room is above its upper flammability limit. This means that the gas or vapor in the air is capable of producing a flash fire. It just needs an ignition source. Okay, look at the locked door on the left. Notice that the door is different than other doors and has signs of a potential backdrop. In addition to the room being full of smoke with no visible flames, there's also smoke at the base of a door along with a pulsing sound. Did you hear it? It's a low thud. This sound seems like it's repeating because the room's trying to suck air into it. It needs oxygen to reignite the fires within. Okay, the door's unlocked. Open the door, but immediately back away from it to avoid the blast from the back door. Signs of backdraft. It could save your life. Slugger on there. This training exercise will familiarize you with setting up attack hoses to fight fires and show you how to connect a fire truck to a hydrant water supply. First, we'll establish a water supply line. This ensures you never run out of water when fighting fires. Now, walk over to the indicated compartment on the truck and grab a supply hose. Fly hose is the yellow one. Okay. okay, now look directly at the connector on the truck. 
Nice job. Walk over to the indicated fire hydrant. Good. Just like the connector on the truck, look directly at the connector on the... Head over to the indicated connector on the other side of the oh, truck and connect the supply line. Like before, remove the cap, unroll the hose, and attach the hose cap. As with the supply line, you'll need to first remove the cap from the truck. Unroll the hook. Now that you have enough, nozzle, look directly at the coupler on the ground. Go! Clock is starting. Put out the fire. Ik zag in het lijstje geen uh, mensen redden uit voertuigen of wat dan ook. Dus ik. Uh, dit is echt alleen maar pure brandjes.
Ik zit ook wel leuk. Dan een erg benieuwd naar de busjes. Dat ze echt allemaal anders zijn. Wat er is het, is de trainingscentrum afhandelen. This will allow others to complete tasks for you while you focus on other objectives. Have a look at the upper right corner of your screen. You can see the AI indicator along with the associated shortcut. Point at the circle on the ground and press the shortcut for the AI that you've just seen in the upper right corner. The AI character will now walk to the indicated location. Yes, sir. Good. Now direct the AI to the second circle, followed by the third. Well done. You've just learned how to give go-to commands. Now call the AI to your position. To give the command, hold down the AI shortcut key until the status icon in the upper corner changes to the follow symbol. The AI will now follow you. Walk along the waypoints. As you can see, the AI is following you in close proximity as you move around. As you can tell, the AI is very closely following your movements. Go ahead and instruct the AI to wait. Hold down. Two victims need help in that building. Your mission? Rescue them. Head through the door and into the building. I'm with you, boss. Lead the way. The door's locked. Instruct your AI to equip a Halligan and come to your location. Nee. Nee. Oké. Okay. Like yes, commander. You can instruct the AI to open the door for you. AI can interact with all context sensitive objects like doors, windows, victims, and many others. Your crosshair will change when you aim at objects your AI squadmate can interact with. Press the AI shortcut key while aiming at the door to command the AI to open. Okay, boss. I'll break it open. Well done. Now, follow the indicated on-screen interaction. The AI squadmate can grab a hose and start combat with the fire. Yeah, the door is open, open, boss. We got your back, boss. Let the AI quench the fire. Hey, he's not going to be on explosion. Let me handle that cup with me. The fire can raise one. Don't forget to get both victims to the paramedics. AI shortcut again while aiming at the victim. While the AI is bringing the victim to safety, they're no longer available for other commands. But their main priority is getting the victim. Give another go-to command to send the AI into the room with the fire. Let's start the little calm with the fuel. Then throw whatever you got. Yes, Commander. Yeah, that was me. That was Well done. All fires are extinct. Using the letter trucks. That's this training exercise will familiarize you with how to use ladder trucks and aerial arms Ooh, to attack fires from above and to rescue victims in elevated locations. Before extending the truck's ladder, we must first stabilize it and ensure that the truck will not tip over with the ladder boom extended. Ah, the stem Walk over to the indicated control panels and extend all the truck's outrigger arms. 
while deployed, the outrigger arm simultaneously bypassed the vehicle's movable suspension and hits the truck. There's the move. Good. The ladder arm offers you three degrees of movement. Up, down, Up, left, down, left. All right, right, now, use the indicated controls and move the ladder in the forward. That's not if it inch dive me. Exit the bucket by pressing the use key. Conscious victims will not move towards the bucket. You must place the bucket near the victim, exit the bucket, and interact with the victim to get them to follow you into the bucket. Oh. Okay, you saved one victim. Now position the bucket near the other indicated roof and wait for the victim to reach the bucket. And this victim is unconscious, so you'll have to carry them back to the bucket. So. Up. Not a few of the middle of the bottom. Press the indicated button now to switch back to controlling the bucket and to try it out. When you've relocated the bucket to a better location, switch back to controlling the nozzle and extinguish the fire. Vond je deze video leuk? Laat het gewoon een duimpje omhoog. Volg me. Vanaf de Congrats. Heel veel plezier. 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 Ik het is ook zo leuk vinden dat je ons daarop volgt.
En deze gaan we doen de volgende keer. Bedankt voor het kijken en tot de volgende keer.